We've been the caretakers of this place for not quite a year yet and our main space at the moment is really outside. In winter we'll definitely spend more time in the house. I'm going to show you some footage of the room that we want to clean out today. We're just going to move all the stuff out of there, go through it, sort it and load up another trailer for the tip in town. So here we are back again in the creepy room. Like just look at it and tell me that's not creepy. But I have tried and cleaned out the stuff in here. Now look who's joining. Yes. Now get down. So anyway, I'm just going to remove a few more things. We definitely don't need a small TV like that. We actually don't even have a TV at all at the moment, but I don't miss it either. I just want to have more space in here so I can set up a light and then I'm going to start by vacuuming this place. Much everything I move or touch has got a long cobweb hanging off it. Must have lost it probably on me somewhere. Opening our second entrance. Yeah. Oh, I know. Stuff everywhere. Can get in there, it's not even deep. The girl going for a swim. Yes, nice. Good boy. We've really been a bit inconsistent lately and this room is still not finished. So we started it over four weeks ago and we haven't touched it after that. That's definitely going to get my attention today, but also our kitchen is going to get my attention first. I think that's priority since we use that space more often and it's a bit of a mess. So I'll just uh, quickly tidy up in there and then we'll open the door to the spare room again. That is looking heaps better. I even wiped all the surfaces and appliances. Yeah, now I'm looking at the stove. Definitely needs a scrub. Yeah, we haven't actually done any cooking in here. We have been using the barbecue outside, but now that it's getting a lot windier and a lot cooler, I think we're gonna use this one inside the house a lot more often, so. 
since I'm at it, I'm just gonna give that a scrub as well. We've cleaned this oven already after we moved in, but that was a few months ago and it's just the dust blowing through the whole house here that makes things look dirty again in no time. So I'm lucky I don't have to peel off some crusty food leftovers. It's mainly dust. Yeah, my last filming sequence was actually interrupted because I got a text message from Clint saying that he had to go to the hospital. After going to the local doctor here, they couldn't remove a piece of steel from his eye because he was grinding. And so we had to drive a 900 kilometer return trip, but it's all good again now. I'm back here, back at it. And yeah, I'm still working on this room, by the way. So there's only a few things left in it. So I'm just going to move these out. Then I'm going to finish vacuuming it finally and hopefully we can set up a few furniture pieces in there. That would be exciting. I've got the vacuum cleaner here already. So this is what we're dealing with. This is our mattress. There's a couple of old TV screens down here. That's an old mattress and this was full of cobwebs so I didn't touch it. I'm just going to get rid of all these things, vacuum this room and then finally our chests of drawers that were donated from a maid in town can move into the room. So really exciting to have a spot for our clothes. Oh no, I'm just gonna vacuum it at the same time as I'm removing it from the wall. I think it's been sitting there for a few years. We finally got space for our chest of drawers so we can put our clothes somewhere. I just noticed I haven't actually thought about furniture arrangement yet so might just put the drawers in there anyway and if we want to move them at least uh, when Clint is back we can move them together with the drawers in them. Not even sure if we want this table in here. That was a mission. Oh. 
Hello. Nice work area slash dressing room. That should be a good spot to do our stuff on the computers. Looking forward to having a proper office area now. Yeah, Clint and I have really been a bit all over the place lately, doing everything and nothing. Not many projects are finished. Clint's at work at the moment and I still got stuff to do here around the house and in the garden, of course. It never ends. So that's what we've been doing. And if my body doesn't feel too sore, then of course I go out for a detect for a few hours. I've got good news for the gold lovers. Clint and I are actually talking about going on a prospecting trip again soon. So. That'll be very exciting. I'm definitely looking forward to that. It's another beautiful morning and I've got the choice either continue working around the house here or go and detecting and I really feel like going for a swing. So I'm just going to leave the house as it is for now and instead go detecting. Let's go find some gold. Yeah, I just pulled up in a little bit of a creek system here. I've got the 7000 as my first choice of detector. I brought the 6000 as well. But I'm thinking it looks like deep country here. I have found small gold with a 6000 upstream. And down here we can see shallow scrapings. That'll give me a good starting point. What I like is these tree roots. That's telling me that the ground hasn't been disturbed. If miners from the past dug out this part of the creek, the tree root should be gone as well. Have a look at that. That definitely looks like a big detector hole to me. Right under the two trees here amongst the big tree roots in the main creek. Makes you wonder what they found there. I'll just go over the spot and make sure that they didn't leave something behind. Nothing. Half expected the tree roots to be noisy, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, hang on. Where is it? Odd. Actually sounds like something buried there, but I'm still thinking it could be the rubbish that the person may have found. Let's just dig it out, see what it is. Oh, it's a tin. Uh, tin. Great. So now we can assume what that other target was for. So yeah, unfortunately this creek here has got deep rubbish as well. I made up my way to the top of this flat here where the pushings are and I've got a signal. I just scraped it out with my boot and it doesn't seem to be magnetic because it didn't stick to the magnet when I waved it over it. It's either a shotgun pellet or a little piece of gold. <laughs> that is my newt. I'm surprised I even heard it. But yeah, it is gold. We're not just going to break any records today with this one. I'm happy finally because I've dug a few pieces of rubbish, in particular tin. So now that we got that, I'm going to concentrate my search around here, obviously. Hopefully they get a bit bigger. This one here is a signal right on top of the scrapings. I think I got it out. Just sitting on the slope here. Can 
I see it there. We moved the target out of the hole and right there I can see a tiny bit of gold. Did I get it? Yes. Oh, not so small. I'm just going to rub this dirt off. Definitely bigger than the first one. Probably more than twice the size. Could go 0.4 of a gram. Nice bit. Long and skinny one. It's not very prickly and rough, but it's not very round either. Something in between. But yeah, nevertheless, right on top of the pushings here. On which, obviously, I'm gonna continue my work now. Check the hole. Let's give this one here a try. Oh, is it ashes? Oh, I bet it's somebody's old campfire. And some people throw rubbish in there. Is that alfoil? Ugh, rubbish. I think we're onto something here, but it's hard to distinguish where. I'll try and pinpoint it. Right where the big rock was sitting. Original dirt. That's a good sign. We moved it. I'm not even going to try the magnet. I'm just going to assume it's gold. Hope I'm right. Oh yes, I can see it. Similar size than the first one. Oh, maybe a bit bigger. Nice. Number three, they are rolling in now. I got these three bits really not really not too far from each other. Nice run. This one is a really interesting one. I hope it's not a hot rock. Oh, nah, now it doesn't sound so good anymore, but I'll dig it. Try the magnet, it sounds like rubbish. Yeah, it's gone few things stuck on here, but yeah, it's magnetic, not gold. Yeah, that's what I mean about being inconsistent. Instead of finishing off the room inside, I went out detecting, but had a good time and needed that as well. So I'm glad I did it. 
Plus, we found some gold. Really nothing to brag about, but still I'm happy to get a few pieces every time I go out. It's not only the house uh, that we've been working here on, but also Clint has got a few jobs to do. Plus, we've got the rocks. We go detecting. We get ready for trips. So as we do different things, I think it's also exciting to film all these different things and create videos about different topics as well. I know not all of you care about rocks or this house here, but I know a few of you do. And so do I, by the way. And it's me filming and editing all these videos. And I think that keeps it a bit more exciting for me as well to have different topics in the videos. Just something I wanted to mention for me, it's totally fine. You don't have to watch every single video I put out. I don't expect that at all. You can just choose the topics that you'd like. And if you're a gold content fan, there should be some interesting stuff coming up soon as well. We'll keep you in the loop what's going to happen. And I'll make sure I'm going to pack my fly net next time because today I forgot it again. Let's have a look at the gold, put it on the scales and see what I ended up with. There are the three bits. Nice little yellow pieces. And they all came from the top of the pushings. Yeah, I'm glad that I got those three. And now I want to know what they weigh. I'm going to start with the smallest one. Did I say 0.15 of a gram? Might actually change it to 0.18 of a gram. Oh, low battery. That's a bit unfortunate. Two AAA batteries. So I don't have any spare batteries, but I've got spare scales. Found them. Yep, yeah, they work. Put the scales right on top of the gold. That's how small it is. Didn't even see it there. We'll try that again. The smallest one. Oh, 0 0.09 of a gram. I'll try that again. 0 0.08. Okay, I'm not going to try that again. We'll just put another piece on there. Hopefully then the mob will go up. Oh, it's going down. They seem to be a bit sensitive in the wind here. 0 0.08. 0 0.23. I really thought it would be more than that. 0.5 of a gram in total. Half a gram of gold is worth over 50 bucks these days, Australian dollars that is. I'm glad that I went out, glad that I had some exercise, enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, please give this video a like. Stay safe out there guys. I'll see you in the next one.